let's cover our tall skinny journal that's what i've decided to make out of this um, 10 ways to love kit and just a little tip uh, if you folded yours away, I folded mine. It end, mine ended up being like four and an eighth wide, which is kind of fun, but on a vertical sheet, see how much you have to sit here now and go, do I want this side of the sheet or do I want this side of the sheet? This is my cover. And so I love, I love those flowers. And then I can see how I could put either down here or up here the 10 ways to love um, name as the title of the journal. Let me just move that over a little bit because I'm going to be trimming. I'm going to use my Pritt glue stick. That seems to work well. What I found works is I use this for the over all the pages and then I typically go, hopefully my dog is not going to start barking, but it's that time of day, although we just had a big rainstorm, then I'm going to add my glitter glue just on the edge so that it really seals the edge. And I should probably put this out like this. Yes, that would be better. Um, that's going to go right on there. Oops, wrong glasses. I have computer glasses, and then I have reading glasses. And I had my computer glasses on, which means I was like, why does this look so strange? Okay, that goes there. I think that works. And if you are new to my channel, then you're going to see how Diane does this. Diane glues it on. I do not trim it first because I've been burned way too many times where when I trim it, then I go to glue it down and it's all messed up. So I glue it and then I trim it to exactly the paper that I'm covering. Just trim a little sliver off. There we go. And now we've got to trim this. And that should be simple. It's hard to watch me do this on the camera. I understand that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this differently because it's the front and I do not want to redo the front cover. I am going to put my metal ruler right on the very edge and I'm going to tear it instead of cut it this time. That way I hope that it works better and I'm right on the very edge. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. And just tear it. Did it work? Yes, it worked. Okay, that's better. Well, I'm a little bit off. Eh, okay. I always just say, don't make a mistake, don't worry about it because, there we go, I will just add some ink. So that's going to be my cover. Then I'm going to open, let's see, of course I could use this piece again. But you know what might be fun is to put it on the angled piece, the pocket that we made. Let me move my camera. Hold on one second. I think I have my camera in a different spot today, and so you're not seeing as much as I want you to see. Here we go. I'm over to the right too far. Is it gonna be enough? Let's see, is it just enough? Actually, it will work. I think I like that. That way, because I'm using that um, same paper. So let's slide that back. I forgot to use my bone folder to smooth it out, but we will do that in a moment. That looks just like it is a good lineup. Let me get my bone folder. And I didn't put any of the glitter glue in the edges, but once I glue all the pages, I usually go back and then I say, oh yeah, I need to put some more glue on there. 
Okay, I'm just having a great day today. I bought these at Dollar Tree because they look pretty when I'm doing like flip throughs, but then I forgot to move them while I am actually crafting. So let me move those off so that they will stop moving around. Now will be much better. <laughs> there we go. I think I might do the same thing on this. Let's, I'm gonna keep trying that and see if I get these much better edges. Let's see. Is that gonna work? Mm, it was okay. It wasn't as good. It wasn't as smooth. I think because I was on the other side of it. I think that's what I did differently. So let me just trim that to the edge. But actually, it's still not a bad thing because now I know I'm right at the edge and I'm trimming just that little hair line off. So that works well. You're going to really love this study. This is the fun part, making the covering your journal and getting all ready. But when you start this study, I'm very blessed because one of the women who comes to my Wednesday Bible study that I've been doing for over 10 years uh, is a Bible scholar. And I put this whole idea together and I picked verses that matched and things like that. And then I showed it to her and she came up with some really good feedback about those weren't really the best verses. <laughs> And so I was not upset at all. I was like, good, because I need somebody else to really help me. I need a second pair of eyes. Okay, I like the tree there, but do I like it on this? You know what I think I'm going to do this time? I just finished the um, number patterns in the Bible, and I used all of my focal point pages. Oh, let me go back and say this to you. I'm assuming you're a new person. So in my kit, you get 10 focal point pages, which are these standalone. I've collaged and done all of that on them, right? So you get 10 of those, and then you get six, what I call background pages. So they're the colors that are in the, the focal points, but they're a place to rest your eyes. And I didn't really do any of the background pages in my number patterns. And I think I'm going to do that with this one instead. Let's see. I love these dots. These dots are just like so much fun. That would be fun, wouldn't it? That action would be really fun. And then it would come across there. Let's try that. It's only paper. Let's put the glue. Right up to that edge where the fold line will be. Use the bone folder. Okay, that works well. Flip it over. Here's where I have to trim it at the top. It's hard to sometimes do these big wide journals on camera, so please bear with me. Hopefully you're covering your pages as you're watching me because yours can be exactly what you want it to be. You you watch the video of how to make this little tall and skinny journal. So now it's really just whatever you choose, what you like. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this. I think I'm liking this. I think this tears better for me, meaning it tears right to that fold line which is so much better. There. And look how fast it went. Yeah, I think that does work much better, Diane. Now, the trick will be, yep, yeah, see, now I need to add some of my glitter glue. Of course, I didn't have the needle into it. I don't know, it's actually, it's really, it, I've sealed it pretty well. Okay, let's put the pin back on this so it doesn't dry up. That's working well. Oh, fun. 
see how fun that's going to be? Yes, that's going to be fun. Okay, so now we have two more. So what I envision is here is where I'm going to put the list of the 10 ways to love. So I don't, I want a background that you want actually be able to read it, read that. Uh, maybe, maybe we, maybe I use the blue, the blue lined paper right there. That might be really good. And then I could put a bolder, one of the, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Again, because in my mind, I know the kit. You don't necessarily know the kit yet. Um, I gave you the list of all 10 ways that God says we are to love each other and the Bible verses. And so I made a list and I thought I want to put that in mind, whether you do or not, but I typically create kits the way I want to make them, number one. And then number two, I try to make things that appeal to everyone else. And hopefully you, if you're brand new, welcome, welcome. Please like and subscribe. If you are, uh, you've been part of my channel and part of my little journey in doing this, then thank you for coming back. All of my faith kit, all of my digital kits, not all, the majority, let's put it that way. The majority of my kits, where am I? I'm supposed to tear that, <laughs> are faith-based. I say the majority because I just put up a new pink kit and it's not really a faith kit. It's just because I wanted some more pink background pages. <laughs> so I made a whole kit for that. But the majority of my digital kits are faith art. So there's a Bible study attached to the majority of my kits. And I teach you how to add God's word to your junk journaling or to your art journaling, whatever you want to call it. Yes, this is working so much better. I'm so happy that I've paid attention watching other people's videos to the metal ruler ripping. It's so much faster and it's actually straighter. <laughs> Interesting, Diane. Okay, that, that's going to work good. Okay, now I want to put a great a really powerful one. I love this tree. I just think this tree. Oh, and look next to that blue. I think that is what I'm going to do next. So of course I'm gonna, that piece is going to be left. So do I want the birds there or do I want the tree? I think that I am going to do this piece. I like this piece right there. So in your comments, as you're watching this video, please tell me, have you been doing faith art junk journaling? Have you been doing Bible journaling? How, if you do, how do you add God's word, your faith to your creative projects? I would love to hear, tell me your little story so that everybody else can hear. My mission, my ministry is I'm pretty clear on my ministry. Oh, sorry, the dog. Uh, I'm pretty clear. God gave me this this ministry to... I'm sorry. I'm going to stop the video. I'll be right back. I think she's going to stop barking. I went ahead and finished that gluing. Now I'm tearing. Okay, I'm going to say again. I'm very happy making this because this is so much easier doing this when I tear it. And then look, there's another piece ready to go. So what I was saying before I had to stop was I'm clear on what my, my mission is. God gave me the impetus to share. I've been doing faith art journaling for over 25 years in a variety of ways. I worked with uh, visual faith ministry for over 10 years. I helped found it, build all the websites, uh, created lots of um, resources for them. And last year, uh, I felt like it was time for me to move forward in something else. And it was for me to share what I'm doing with junk journaling with everybody. 
So as I said, my mission is to teach, to create beautiful things that you go, oh, I wanna make that. And then you want to add your faith to what you're making. And, and so that's why I write, they're simple Bible studies. These are not real deep Bible studies. They can be as deep as you want. I just finished the Peace of God one. That is, a, that was a, well, it was a longer one. It was a seven week. Most of mine are, uh, you could do in a, in a week or two, you know, not real, not totally time consuming is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I'm so happy with this. This is going to look really good. So when we flip that over, what do we want? Of course, it's going to be back this way. You wouldn't see it. That could be a good lead in for the rest of these three. I think I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put that behind and I'm going to put the glue. The other thing I would love to find out is how did you find me? Did you find me from Instagram or Facebook? How did you find Faith Art Design Studio? That's my name. How did you find me? Did you come through somewhere I've posted in a Facebook group or something like that? Just love to find out how you found me. Okay, this one will be easy. This one, I'm not gonna tear, I'm just going to trim because we're right on the edge, so that'll be pretty simple. This is going together much faster than when I made the number patterns in the Bible. It was another tall and skinny journal, but it was different. It had all these flip-flops. Okay. I wanted you to be aware, don't glue that. This is actually a pocket, okay? So, well, what I did not do, I glued it, but I didn't do what I always tell people to do, is take your bone folder and make sure it's nice and open. Sometimes that glue goes farther than you want, but there's, there is a pocket there. Okay, yeah, see now that's looking good, the way it's like coming, boom, this is coming together so nice. Okay, let's see. We go like that, now we're on this. So now let's pick. We're gonna use another background again. Oh, I love that one. And then what other? I think I want uh, more of a neutral background beside that. Oh, and I love the sun on this one. What if we did that there and then that one could go there? Or maybe that's on the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what I could do? Look. It actually would work. I could put this whole piece on those two panels and then we would have this yellow and that could go like that the best. Let's get the sheets back. Or do I like that? So we've got that one. Let's see. We've got that. We have the lighter dots. And I've got orange. Which one do I like better? That's dark. Like these two, I think I want something light. So I think that one, I like that one there. Let's do that next. So we're going to put that, I'm sorry, I'm here, I'm out of, I don't know why I'm having such a problem today. Let me see if I can get in the right spot. Okay, trying to get all this in camera, it is. Okay. The other thing I would love to get feedback on is any ideas you have for kits, that we could do a, a short Bible study with? Give me your ideas. I've got a folder full of ideas. And one of my good friends uh, said, how about, and she told me three things, and I said, they're actually on my list as I get to them. And so I would love to hear if there's anything you would like. She wants me to do one on Fruit of the Spirit, which, yes, I want to do that. 
here's the here's the trick so studying the fruit of the spirit that part would be easy the bible study part i think would be simple to do what happens then is i'm just telling you a little about my creative process is i one second i want to be real clear that i get this right okay let's try that um I come up with what the Bible study will look like. Then I have to spend time thinking and looking and playing around with what are the colors of that? What's the design of that? Is it something contemporary? Like this whole kit is very contemporary. The fonts that I used in the list and things are all very contemporary because I felt like 10 ways to, uh, to love was, I don't know, it just felt contemporary to me. So fruit of the spirit, everybody does the fruit of the spirit. How is Diane going to do it? And it's going to be Diane's version of it. That's really what I have to think about. And I'm really not into like pictures of fruit or something because, yeah, you have to understand the fruit of the spirit. It wasn't literal fruit. Uh oh, is this even coming out? This might be over a little bit too far, but we'll try. And so what would Diane make it look like? That would, That's just not my style to not add, get some apples and cherries. That, just, that wouldn't be me. That would not be me for sure. So that's part of my process is what I'm trying to share with you of the idea to do the Bible study. I get that clear. And then what does it look like? And then I have to spend a lot of time creating these gorgeous background pages and making sure that the background pages match, support, uh, connect the Bible study with the art. But I love that part. And also, if you've been following me, you might have noticed I'm not complaining about my hand. I haven't told you what happened. I thought I had carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh, my hand hurt so bad. My wrist, my fingers, and everything hurt so bad I couldn't stand it. And I was putting off going to any doctor because in my mind, I was thinking, well, they'll just tell me, well, here's your problem. You're on the computer too much. And so you need to stop doing that. Well, that's not going to happen because I just started Faith Art Design Studio in January. So I'm not going to stop working on the computer. So I just went, suck it up and just do it. And then a friend said uh, that she went to a doctor, an orthopedic doctor near here. And he approaches carpal tunnel totally different than everybody else. Because everybody that's had it said, oh, you have to go get surgery. And then they tell me, oh, you can't move your hand <laughs> for like six to eight weeks. That wouldn't be working for me. Because first of all, I live by myself and I have two big dogs. So who is going to take care of me because I'm right-handed and it was my right hand? Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to take... That's not going to happen. So I, that's why I didn't want to go to anybody. Well, this little surgery that he does for carpal tunnel takes him like five minutes I watched a video of it and puts a little band-aid on and you can take a shower you can do anything like the next day so I was very encouraged by that so I called and made an appointment and I went in and um, met with the PA and she I had on my brace my carpal tunnel brace and she said so does that brace help you and I said no actually it does not really but it's better than having nothing on and she said okay and then she asked me a couple other questions and she said put your put your thumb and do this and then move this all around on my right hand and I was like I, I can't even move my thumb I can't do any of that of course now I can and she said you actually don't have carpal tunnel syndrome you have Duchenne's tendinitis which was in for my thumb and I said, well, what does that mean? She's, oh, all I need to do is just give you a shot of cortisone. And so she did it guided with a, um, yeah, ultrasound. Yeah, so my hand's under the ultrasound. The, the ultrasound thing is there. And I turned around, I turned away, because I'm like, oh, I know it's going to hurt. Just putting a needle in there. And she said, and some, she was talking to me. And then all of a sudden, she said, okay, we're all done. And I went, what? Like, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> She was so excellent, obviously. She was excellent. And so I said, that's it? She said, yeah, that's it. I said, well, now what? She said, well, you just go and, you know, do what you're going to do. Just don't overdo it because now that I've given you the cortisone, you're going to think it's going to relieve the pain and you're just going to start doing stuff, which could get it worse. I said, oh, okay, fine. 
So I went home and I went, I can't believe this. It, the pain was really gone. It, it was just like amazing. And then it started to ache about two days later. And um, she had said, if that happens, I could get a, there's a different brace. I have a little brace that's for the thumb. And so it holds my thumb, you know, rigid. And I wear that at night. And I'm all cured. Thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> thank you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Because, as I said, I just started Faith Art Design, and it's only me. How am I going to make things? What am I going to stop? No, that wasn't going to happen. <gasps> Look how beautiful. Look. Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh, yes. It looks wonderful. <gasps> Look how fun this is. I love making things. Okay, it's folding that way. Now, we're going to go over here, and I think what I'll do on this back is, look, I can do the same thing. Put one of the intense color sheets on both panels. Oh, and I love this one. I just love this one. I think that's the one I'm going to do. So, oh, and the tree will be on? Yes. That will be gorgeous. So, thank you if you prayed for me, for my for my hand, because I know a lot of people told me, we're praying, I'm praying for you. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you, God, because he connected me to this orthopedic clinic uh, about an hour from where I live. And they specialize in all of these things. It, it's like a factory, but it was a beautiful factory in the sense of they had, they had probably 80 chairs in the waiting area. There's 26 orthopedic doctors in this clinic. And um, yeah, it, you, they just have this phenomenal service you know, you go in, you fill out the paperwork on a computer, and they see you, and they have all of the, you don't have to go anywhere else because they have all of the machines to do x-rays, to do ultrasound, to do whatever they need you to do, which is amazing. And I'm on Medicare, of course, and it was all covered. So, yes, that was just an amazing, an amazing, amazing thing. This is so much easier. This one is going together very, very fast. So I don't know if you're like me. When somebody's just sitting there making something and they take an hour and a half to make something that I know can make, doesn't take that long, it just becomes very boring to me. I'm bad. So I try to be, I try to make videos the way I would like people to make videos. Of course, I'm talking so much, so I can't cut out all my talking on this one. So you just trim it. Now, I'm going to bend it, but I want to be really careful because when you're using the print glue and it's still, it's still kind of damp, sometimes when you fold it, then it buckles, and I don't want it to buckle. Instead of folding it to show you right now, I think I'm going to leave it open, and we'll just finish the back. And then in the next video, next episode, we will start adding... We will start adding ephemera. And we will be doing the Bible study of 10 ways to love according to God. Not according to some everyday people who tell you, oh, if you just do this. And you... No, we are going to look at what God says, how God tells us to love each other. And I don't, oh, look, is that going to work? Yes. Can I get it like that? I don't want to cut the birds off. I probably should have put this on there, but well, I didn't. So now you, if you're making yours, you can say, yeah, I'm gonna put that one on that. But I think it will work. It will work right there. And then I don't lose my birdies. I had fun adding birdies and music to my background pages for this kit. Birds and music. Love, love, love. I should find some, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I listen to Christian music all the time. I usually have it, well, when you're not here, when I'm not recording, I have it blasting on my little mini TV here in my studio. I have a YouTube uh, playlist for all my Christian music. 
think, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go pick some songs that we could listen to while we are going to be doing this Bible study. I think that would make me feel really good because then I can refer to some songs. There we go. Now, what are you going to do with your journal? That's what I'm going to question you. I'm going to give you some ideas. So what I'd love to have you do is for you to make this for yourself first. Make this for yourself. Do the study with me, right? When you're done, print it again and make one and give it to somebody who, who may be a young person, maybe some one of your children, maybe one of your grandchildren, and who doesn't really get they get the world's way to love, but they don't get God's way to love, right? And then make it and give it to them. That's what my girlfriend's doing. She's giving it to her son's girlfriend. They're not married. Um, and she would like to influence her, which I'm all for. And she's not a Christian. So this girl really doesn't have a good sense of what does love really you know, what does God, how does God tell us to love? And God's love is very different than the world's love, right? Let's see, is this going to work? Well, I can kind of get it off. I do it slowly, which that works. If I get the majority of it, then that's great. Then all I have to do is just trim it, right? Use that edge, make it tighter against the edge. Okay, now it's getting a little bit difficult. Now, of course, two weeks ago, I couldn't even have done this because I could not have manipulated my hand the way I'm manipulating my hand now. It's so nice to not be in pain. It's kind of like uh, Paul talks about the thorn in his side that he had, which we don't know what it really was, right? It was just something he had to live with, and that's kind of where I was, like, okay, well, I guess I just have to live with this, because I, the solutions that I'm hearing people tell me really won't work for my life. <laughs> so it's a huge blessing for me to not, yeah, there we go to not have to go get that big surgery and be laid up and have to do all this crazy stuff. Okay, I think if I turn it this way, it would be a little bit easier. I can get a little closer so when it folds, it folds cleanly. That's the goal. So it's still easier to do this little trimming than the whole thing trimming. So the tearing is still a good thing. Uh-oh, I didn't get all of it off. Okay. There we go. Yes. So we got the birdies there. So we're down to one panel. One panel. And I think it needs a break. It needs a visual break is what I will always be trying to teach you that sometimes you just need to give your eye a visual break. Of course, I made these two pieces for tall and skinny journals. Now, let's trim that straight down first. Oh, no, wait a minute. Do I really want to do that? Because I was trying to think of how, if I wanted to use it. So, yes, I wanted to break. I think I need to trim this before I can determine if this piece will work as a break or if it's still too loud. Let's see, can I get this? Okay, now, so these are like giant um, tickets, I guess, if you want to say tickets or panels, I guess panels. Now, see, I don't like that one. I, I know I don't like that. I like this one better because it's solid. It's a solid link. And then let's look at, I have two more. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to trim that one too. 
Let me get my little trimmer back. Let's go over here. There's that, and there's that. So here's the pieces. I call this auditioning. I'm auditioning papers. Let's see. Oops, I'm trying to show. There we go. Now that's really, really pretty too because it picks up that gold. So, of course, this is another one where I go, What do y'all think? But you can't answer. Because by the time you answer, the only way you would answer would be the video would already be up and I would already be done. <laughs> okay, so we have that. There's still just that piece. We could do the dots again. The lighter dots. Maybe that's even better. Hmm. Okay, I'm... Well, when I go, hmm, it's because I'm not 100% like, go for it. Let's try. So this was my first choice. Then this was my second. Visually, that's a pretty good break. And this is my third choice, which let's, let's fold this back a little bit. You know, I don't think the dots go. I don't think the dots go. I think this is the best, is what I'm thinking. Yes, I'm going with that. Stop thinking. Honey. Oh, no, wait, wait. See, <laughs> I'm going to go. No, that's way too much. It's funny, this is a, a focal point paper and it's a lot of stuff. And this has a lot of stuff on it, but somehow, why does it work? Uh, it just kind of works for me. So, we're, I am going to do that. Sometimes, I just don't want to sit here and try a hundred times. I'm just going to go for it. And it's always funny, when I do that in the end, I say, oh, that was perfect. That's exactly what I was supposed to do. So, it's nice to get that confirmation. And this is right on the edge. This is going to be another one I have to trim. Am I going to be able to trim it? That is going to be the question because it's the, that's the front. Well, let's try. Let's try our tearing. Thing I can do is try, right? Okay, let me get right to the edge of where I want. Oh my gosh, it's such a little. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to do something different on this one. Finally, I think this is dry enough. We are going to fold it. Remember, I didn't fold that because I didn't. I didn't want the paper to pull and buckle. So let's go back there. That goes there. Did we fold? Oh, we didn't fold that one either. Okay, we have to fold that. That goes there. Let's see how it just went over the edge. I'm going to have to glue all that when I turn off this video. And then here, this is where. There. See that just tiny little bit? I can't tear that. I'm going to have to trim it. Got some other things in the works that I'm going to be launching, and I think I'm going to take a break from tall and skinny journals for a while. I've got these ideas in my head for a different kind of a journal. Using the paper differently is basically what it is. So stay tuned. More to come. God has just given me so many ideas. And I'm on a roll right now making things. And as I said earlier, my friend Timmy 
I'm gonna have to start putting her name on these because she's really helping me a lot with the Bible verses. You know, are, have we picked the right verses? Does it say what we're trying to say? And the other thing that I wanted to let you know on this, I am fine with this, you might not be, so you're gonna have to adjust yours. When we folded the two manila folders to make this, do you see how they're different sizes? I, I have no, I, that doesn't bother me. I, I kind of like it. So here it is. That was pretty good, I did it, oh well, let's see, it probably is gonna be an hour, unless I break these two up. Okay. That's that. Yes, it's so pretty. I'm really glad I used these background pages. And then here's the back. So you would flip it over. And I love that I used it wide. I got both of those in there. That's it. Yes. Foldy, foldy, foldy. And we come right back. Thanks for watching. And you know what? I want to close with numbers. 6, 24 to 26. Get my head out of the way. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.